Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over some of the tips and tricks that can lead to you having a successful Ides of March game in the new Civilization VI Game of the Month challenge. In a moment here you'll have you'll see the game load in and uh, when this game starts you're going to be given a numerous amount of cities spread across um, the northern part of the Mediterranean region. Uh, the map is, is made to be identical to that region of the world. Um, basically, you have a, a city in, in Spain all the way to basically Turkey. Um, um, and you have a, a group of cities that are kind of spread out and far apart, um, with Rome being your capital. Uh, this game really sets you up to have to make decisions on how you're going to keep these cities yours. When the game starts, several of your cities will already be losing um, loyalty. Um, there'll be one in France near Gaul. There'll be one just above Greece um, near Macedonia. And then there's another one, Ravenna. That's the first one near Gaul that's going to start losing loyalty. Uh, there's another one over by, um, like I said, Macedonia. And then there's another one over in that area. So really the first major decision you have to do is deciding how you're going to maintain these cities. Um, as you'll see in this footage, I'm going to put governors in these cities and they are not going to solve that problem. Luckily for you though, you are given a number of legion units that you can utilize to try to lessen the burden on those cities. So here are my tips and tricks to kind of start the game off so you can put yourself in a good position. When you do declare war on any of the opposing players, you are declaring war on all of them. So you need to pick your targets wisely. Here's what I suggest. Your units that are in the left, so basically um, anything left of Rome, should go to Ravenna and fight the Gauls. The rest of your units need to go towards Pella. You cannot hold on to Mediolanum without taking Pella. This is your first and most important military target. Pella is difficult to defeat because of its situation. It's surrounded by mountains and a river. So you need to march your troops up underneath it and attack from the underneath, um, from the south. If you don't do that, you're not gonna be able to take Pella and you're not gonna be able to hold on to Mediolalum. So all of the cities from Antium over, including Rome, you need to send your legions that way. The other legions that you have in this area you can take Audatica, and that'll fix your problem with Ravenna. So this, the Legion at Cume and the Legion at uh, Ravenna should be all that you need to take Audatica. The rest of them definitely need to head towards Pella. Those are going to be what ends up really saving you in the long run for this game. Um, the, the third front of this beginning section here is Rome itself. You're going to be fighting the Gauls over by Ravenna. You're going to be fighting for Mediodonum over by the Macedonians. The third part is Rome. I highly suggest you build ancient walls in Rome as quickly as possible and you have a ranged unit in that city. The reason is, is because when you do declare war, the Phoentians are going to try to use boats to capture your capital um, from you. Uh, just via naval power. You don't need to build boats yourself yet, but it is probably a good idea to have units that can fight them from afar um, so that you can uh, defeat them and stop them from taking Rome. Um, you can always win it back. That's what I ended up having to do, but it would be easier if you do it that way. Finally, you are going to have two governor spots. I suggest you put one governor in Aquila and then you put the other in Ravenna. Putting a governor in Mediolanum is not going to save it. You have to take Pella. So um, you should put as much military force as you can into taking Pella. Um, and that is my hot tip for how to start this, uh, this game. Um, without taking Pella, you're going to lose that city. You're going to lose that chunk. Without taking Audatica in the east, you're going to lose Ravenna. So those are my those are the two main things you can do to keep your original cities uh, and put yourself on the right start um, for this challenge. After that, 
really every single possible win condition is open to you. Um, and my my best piece of advice is to invest in um, commercial hubs and markets and settling cities to connect the cities that you already have. So for instance, from Rome, move up, make a city that connects those cities together, unify that empire and build as many trade routes as possible. And then thanks to your ability as Caesar, you're gonna have, you're gonna get more gold from trading with yourself than you're gonna be for trading with other people. So using internal trade routes and the roads that you build, you're gonna be able to fund your empire on your own just by creating trade routes. So that's the, the two, I guess the two major pieces of advice are take Pella as soon as possible, take Audatica as soon as possible, build as many trade routes as you can and make as many cities as you can to unify these disparate cities that are spread out between you. And with that advice, you can absolutely win the Ides of March. Thanks for watching and best of luck to you on the challenge. And I hope you can beat it before it runs out in the middle of April. Adios friends. Vidi vidi vici.